men have always dreamed of speed. Getting there first is the ultimate reward, but getting there fast is almost as satisfying. The dream has been realized on land and in the air. But the sea has resisted speed. The sea drags at ships with powerful fingers, forcing strong hulls to submit to its relentless energy. High waves can turn the dream of speed into lingering hope as a mighty ship struggles to make headway, losing precious time and ground. Speed at sea no longer is a luxury. In modern navies, it has become a necessity, particularly for countries which must patrol vast areas with curtailed fleets. To achieve this goal of routine speed, we need small ships that can go fast in any weather, any sea. They must have the stability of much larger ships and be capable of missions formerly delegated only to major combatants. One answer is the hydrofoil. A ship which rises above the water, lifted on foils. A ship which maintains a constant level in waves. A ship that tosses aside the effects of drag and provides a comfortable platform for her crew. Hydrofoils have been studied by the United States Navy for more than 20 years. We have built experimental ships and small operational gunboats. We have done exhaustive studies on foil systems, propulsion systems, and control systems. We have used all the tools of modern technology. The most promising factors of these designs have been incorporated into a hydrofoil that is fast, powerful, and easy to maneuver. Pegasus the vanguard of a new type of Navy. In the name of the United States of America, I christen thee Pegasus. Pegasus, PHM-1, was launched November 9, 1974, in Seattle, Washington, where she was designed and built by the Boeing Aerospace Company. The ceremony was attended by representatives from Italy and the Federal Republic of Germany, NATO countries that shared in the design and development costs. PHM is the first ship to be developed as a multinational project using the best technologies and systems from each participating country. When the NATO ships are built, each is expected to use its own variations but all will receive a new naval capability at far less expense because of the joint venture. Much of this work was done at the David Taylor Naval Ship Research and Development Center with the Naval Sea Systems Command as sponsor. The project is managed by NAVSEA's PHM Ship Acquisition Project Office. The Naval Ship Engineering Center and other laboratories also played major roles in the development. Pegasus is the first in a new class of patrol hydrofoil missile ships. Hydrofoils that can fire a gun or deliver missiles while flying at speeds of more than 40 knots. The ship is 130 feet long. 28 feet wide, and displaces 230 long tons. She is the first U.S. Navy ship built to metric specifications. Struts and foils are unpainted stainless steel. The canard arrangement, one foil forward and two aft, puts most of the load on the large after foils.
The forward foil has a steerable strut for directional control and turns. The control system automatically banks the ship in turns. The automatic control system includes height sensors, accelerometers, and gyros. Continuous readings from these are processed through a computer to the foil system. Hydraulic actuators position the control surfaces to the proper angle. This unique control system requires no crew operation once the ship is foil borne and automatically makes allowances for turbulence, trim, altitude, and banking. The aluminum hull is all welded, combining light weight with good corrosion resistance and great strength. This strength coupled with a superior structural design, allows the PHM to impact with waves bigger than her flying height, and also gives her the ability to survive emergency landings, landings that can bring her from top speed to a complete stop. Although the ship is designed to fly above the water, much of the time, she will be hull-borne, making hull sea-keeping qualities of great importance. When the foils are extended, however, she gains the stability of a much larger ship. Foils are retracted hydraulically for maintenance and to reduce draft. Hullborn, two steerable water jet propulsors are driven by diesel engines, expelling water through two nozzles in the stern. The force generated by this water drives the ship up to 11 knots. Water jet nozzles pivot in response to the helm. Buckets provide reversing control. Oilborne, a single water jet pump is powered by a gas turbine engine, an aircraft engine modified for marine use. Seawater enters through ducting in the after struts into the pump, then jets out of a single fixed nozzle on the stern at the rate of 90,000 gallons a minute. Water jets which were used successfully on the gunboat Tucumcari eliminate the need for heavily loaded gears and transmission systems. 